Hello. Welcome. We're back. It is... Ooh, our frame rate is dropping all over the place. I gotta keep an eye on that. Uh, we're back. It is the Sunday night chill stream. Sunday afternoon chill stream. It's the night time. It's the Sunday night chill stream. Perfect branding. Uh... We're back. We're playing some more Minecraft. We, we've been away from the realm for about two weeks now because we played City Skylines last week. And candidly, when I've had uh, free time, I haven't been jumping in here. I've been working on our Game Jam project. And so it's been a hot second since I've been in the realm. So I'm excited to go, go into the realm, take a look around. Maybe we can pick out a project to work on. Hello! How you doing? Zeldararia, welcome. So let's take a look. I, I, I really haven't been here, I think, in close to two weeks. So we'll see how things are going. I gotta be a better Minecraft server dad. I did basically nothing on the server, TBH, except, well, look out the deck. Okay. Okay, right. I was like, wait, where am I? I've just remembered where I am. Here I am. I think all the sheep died <laughs> again. No! 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 Giant spatula, welcome. Um, let's take a look around. Is this something where we, we need to, like, I don't want to say nuke the server. The deck of your old house. Right. Okay, we'll go, oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah, we'll go check it out. So this was the new house. It still needs to be furnished, I believe. Yeah. But this is nice. This is like when you move into a new apartment. Excuse you. There you go. Um, this is like when you move into a new apartment and it's just an empty box with a, the worst, <laughs> with the worst bathroom. Uh, let me just poke around a little bit. I just want to remember what this place was like. We got 32 baked potatoes. Good. There's the dog whose name I honestly do forget. We may need to rechristen this, this good boy up. Another good idea may be making, wait, I had an idea but forgot. Okay, yeah, that's okay. I need to get, oh, <laughs> I see that the Tower of Babel has gotten taller. Good, that's something new. Oh, wait, I've got my telescope. God, I'm so glad they added a, a, a telescope. All oh, the skelly horses disappeared as well. Is it too much of a... I mean, I guess, is it too much of a problem is a bit of an awkward question. But um, it is obviously a problem. Is this something where we gotta need some kind of an intervention? This is a messy start for everyone. Yeah, like, uh, by an intervention, I mean, like, maybe some spawning eggs uh, being put in a box somewhere. No, not the skelly horses, because we've lost all our villagers. What happened to my doors? My hope is that they didn't spawn in. Um, Piotr Bizzle, can you use some spawn eggs sometime? Let's do it like this. We'll, we'll go into creative mode and drop a box with some uh, community spawn eggs for people to use. Because it's it's a huge bummer that, like, all the NPCs keep despawning. And apparently the doors... <laughs> no, okay, the doors are back. Hey la, hey la, the doors are back. Great, good, musical number, perfect. Um, God, I love that song, unironically. <laughs> There's a, a good llama over there. Good idea, yeah, because I think it's, it's... I mean, it's just, it's simply not fair <laughs> that everything keeps despawning. Are there animals in here? Did they all get... Okay, there's some. Oh, stay in there. Sorry. Yeah, we need them. Um, Spatula's home for, <laughs> for wayward youths. Oh, I forgot. Shall we work our way up the... Uh... Oh, Spatula, your place looks great, by the way. Oh, no, Cat Island! No, no. Okay, let's do it like this. Maybe we should be... Keep off the growing grass. Oh, wait, were there cats on this island? unknown maybe we yeah we'll do we'll we'll do we'll do the community spawn eggs i would just ask that everybody be chill and take a medium amount of eggs uh no there should be cats indoors though okay let's see them oh my gosh wow it's faro and and um what's your name you can be faro and you can be ficus Wow, look at them! Faro and Ficus! What good little cats they are! Uh, Zelda Ray says in Elden Ring I found a giant- I'm sorry, you can name your cats. These are just- these are just my off-the-cuff <laughs> names. Um, in Elden Ring I found a giant pot man and it's hilarious. I go to the Valley of Giant Archers and at the end is a giant cute pot person with hands in his arms lying on a ground- a giant round building. 
He doesn't say anything other than dot, 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 Lamau. That's like the, um, oh, my word. Almost went in there. Faro and Closo. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's way better. <laughs> Those are like names of elves from um, Disenchanted. Uh, yay, cats. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it's like the pot man from, uh, gosh, that other one that I didn't, I, I didn't like because I'm a bit of a hipster. Uh, darkest, not darkest dungeon. Da 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 Deadly dungeon. Do death's door. Death's door is the one it's like. Um. Cuphead? Well, in, no, I was thinking of Death's Door. There's a there's a pot guy. There might also be, there might also be in Cuphead. Bob and Bob. Look in the tower. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Tower of the Babel. Please contribute floor design. Okay, yeah, we've seen this before. These are building materials. That's downward and upward. All right, let's make our way up. Good. This looks familiar. This I remember as well. This fire. I'm not is familiar with. Um, keep going up. So what did I watch? The Just today, I watched um, a YouTube video. Oh, nice. Zeldari, I actually have Discord open on the same screen, so I can see that. That's dope. Oh, okay. So he's like, he literally is like a giant pot man. It's not just a man with a pot of soup for a head. Wow. That looks very cool. It is the lever of wonder because you wonder what the lever do does. What does the lever do? I posted Popman on the Discord. He's in a very pretty location. It does look cool. I've also been really impressed by um I'll complete the thought that I started to have earlier in a in forty five minutes. Don't worry, we'll get back to it. Um I've been really impressed with the like character creator stuff that I've seen on Twitter of like people making like Kanye West <laughs> in Elden Ring is pretty good. Looks like I thought the character creator in um, Code Vein was pretty dope. Looks looks pretty powerful. Okay, let's not snoop in people's boxes, PD. Come on. The blank slate floor incorporated. Oh, okay. So they're renting out the uh, office space. That's really smart. If you're if you're gonna have a big high rise. That makes a lot of sense, I think. Lamau, yeah, I'll show you mine sometime. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, the sky deck, duh. And this is the nice view. We can see the uh, ship from Sunless Skies. The train. There's eyeliner and lipstick options. That is very good. Loft floor, how hip. Okay, so this is like a cool rich person lives in this apartment. Because it has a loft. I mean, there's a loft in my apartment, but I'm not a cool rich person. The loft in my apartment is incredibly derpy. And also maybe illegal because there's not really a railing on one whole side. So it's just like a sheer ledge on one whole side. And it's, I don't know, it's maybe a seven or eight foot drop. I think it might be, I think it might be some kind of a building code violation. But, um, and then there's, the other sides have a railing that's about six inches tall. You could absolutely trip over it. Uh, it's good. Right. I remember this. And there's like a sneaky door over here. This is actually kind of cool because I don't know where this building, where this room is. This is classic, like in a, in a mystery where like, you know, they're in a house and they're like, wait a minute, this room and this room. There's, there's space in between that's not accounted for, and that's how they discover the secret thing. By the way, how the secret room hidden? Like, seriously, I never see the walls get smaller. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Let's see. Well, it's got to be, like, down. Is it hidden in these stairs? Is it hidden? Oh, it's hidden here. It's between these floors. This has got to be it, right? But it is... Excuse me, I'm yawning a little bit. It is very sneaky. Oh, talking of yawning, I, um... Man, oh man, today I woke up, and there was no food in my house. And I was like... I tried looking for it, but never could find it. Never could. Um... I woke up this morning, there was no food in my house whatsoever. Oh, Lamau, yeah, that is well hidden. Yeah, uh, Trees Rule did a good job. And so I was like... But I was also exhausted, right? Because I've just, I've been, I've been getting bad sleep lately. Um, and I 
was like, I gotta go to the grocery store. But where I go to buy groceries is like about a mile away. And I gotta, I walk there. I also don't have a, well, I do have a driver's license right now, but I don't have a car. So I, I, I basically gotta walk there. Um, and so I woke up this morning, walked to the store, bought food, ate breakfast, and then went back to sleep for like five hours after doing all of that. <laughs> Uh, so it's been a weird day. I'm just a little bit... My, my circadian rhythm is all amiss, I suspect. What is in this secret brick room? This is like the factory, kind of. Same vibe. The, the lantern and the bricks and the iron door. Feels a lot like the factory area. Okay, yeah, wow. Look how high up we are. I wonder if anyone found my buried treasure. I buried it in a disclosed location. Oh, is it disclosed? You found it! You did it! You found the pumpkin 100 blocks in the sky! Okay, so we're about 100 blocks up here, and look! There's some snow. Ow, my legs. Yeah, this is my factory room. Okay, nice! Checks out! It's a very, uh, consistent, uh... Oh my god. You know what I want to try to do. There's just no way. It's just way too far. Ugh. Okay, let's take a different expressway down. IDK, I'm using professional sounding words. I think I know. Uh, is, is disclosed... If it's disclosed, it means you told somebody where it is. If it's undisclosed, then nobody knows. So either one could be appropriate. Like if you marked it on the map in a room somewhere or something, that would be disclosed, potentially. I come up and you can borrow my elytra if you want. Ah, uh, it's alright. We'll just Pocahontas off of here. Let's do it. Let's just yeet ourselves as hard as possible. Do you believe? Please, please, please. Oh, yeah, yeah! Oh, and I should go... I should go harvest some sugar canes. Okay, Tower Babel, very cool. Big fan. Ah, oh, the old community hovel. Beautiful. Okay, let's do it like this. Let's, right now, while we're thinking about it... This... Is there a chest in the community chest? Community wood. There's a sign. That's a good start. And uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's put a bunch of uh, spawn eggs in. I don't know why I'm like willing to spawn in the spawn eggs, but not the box that they go in. But I guess that's just me. <laughs> just a fun, quirky thing. Uh, okay, let's put this here, and we'll go... Community, uh, and we'll call this the incubator because it's full of eggs. Uh, great. And then we'll do this. So this is just to replace all the NPCs that have been deleted by various weird server updates. Uh, kind of a huge pain, if I'm totally honest. Egg. Spawn egg. Community breeding tube. <laughs> Can you imagine? If we, uh, what is it? Uh... What if we what if we smooched in the roof deck overlooking the breeding tubes? <laughs> Caught the community mating tubes <laughs> like in that beaver game. Oh, we gotta play that beaver game again sometime. Okay, so let's do this like this. Um, can I? Okay, I can't access that menu from here. Right. So hold up. Let me just look at my inventory and let's just clear my hot bar for a second while we do some work here. I hear the spooky, spooky noises of the Nether portal. Okay, so I said, spawn egg. There, this is normal now. Why was this different before? Okay, so let's get just like, uh, yeah, we'll just get a bunch of farm animals, some sheep's. Uh, we got the cats are still there, which is good. Uh, we need some skeleton horses, but let's just put like eight in. That's high. Let's just put, like, eight in. That's perfect. Ocelot! Do you want some ocelots? We'll put some ocelots in. Can we have bat spawn eggs just because? I think that's a good enough reason. Yeah, let's do it. I'm on board. Um, skeleton horse, tropical fish, puffer fish, da da da, bunch of... One dolphin, please. My only rule is the dolphin must not be spawned in the water. And these are all the... monsters, right? So let's just make sure. Oh, we need some axolotls. 
Okay, and some villagers. All right, so we'll we'll have chickens, sheep, pigs, skeleton horse. Oh, we need cows too. What am I thinking? Cow. How now? Brow cow. Where is this? Spawn cow. Okay, chicken, sheep, pig, skeleton horse, bat, dolphin, axolotl, villager, cow. And let's put these to half stacks. Just in the the pretending to balance. Uh wait, axolotls are rare and useful. Oh, do we want fewer do we want fewer axolotls? Do we want to go to eight? Hi hi, is it just me or is there static from your mic? Giant Spatcha says it's just you. Villages. We got villagers. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll, we'll cut down the number of axolotls, and we'll keep 64 chickens just because, I don't know. All right, so we've got all the spawn eggs to replace the animals who were stolen from us by the server. Um, and we'll just put these in here, and if people need them to fill out to replace the animals that have been robbed uh, by the various server updates, they can spawn dolphin if you're, if you're feeling brave. And in fact, can I just... Um, let's say... Spawn land mammal. Perfect. And that way people will know how to use that one. Can we also have polar bear spawn eggs? I don't... So the, the only thing is we didn't have polar bears before. So I'm trying to just replace the animals that, uh, that we've lost. So that's why we'll only have one polar bear. Um, <laughs> we'll have two polar bears and we'll, we'll put it there. You're still in creative, right? Troll Uh, let's, let's get, let's get two polar bears. Boom. Yes. And then we got to get out of creative. That is a good call. Boom. Out of creative mode. Let's look at the map. Look at our beautiful, our beautiful home. Um, Love to see it. Oh, everything is still off my hotbar. So let's let's put all this stuff back where it belongs. Do 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 do. Good thing I have a wooden pickaxe. God, I can't imagine not having that important piece of equipment. Can you imagine? Yep. Wow. I don't have a lot of good stuff. Okay, since you're in creative, if you really hate dolphins, you could put them in a spawner. <laughs> Put a dolphin spawner on top of the Tower of Babel. Just have dolphins showering down on us. No! Oh, wait, that's right. He was gone anyway. Okay, let's replace Pyotr Jr. That's going to be... That's the only spawn egg I'll use right now. I'm just going to grab one. And that way... Because this is a thing where, like... I think if you put out, like, a box of donuts, you have to take one. Because otherwise people will look at them and nobody wants to take the first donut, Right? Uh, and so similarly, we're going to take one villager spawn egg, so people are like, okay, you, we can take the spawn eggs. Piotr Jr., oh yeah, has a dragon egg right now. I forgot. Okay. Yeah, good point. Well, okay, let's replace our prisoner then. Wait, name tags may also be good. That is a good idea. Yeah, let's do name tags too. Hold up. Hold up. I do 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 just cut all the donuts in half like a corporate break room. I want to take the first donut and then cut the half in half. It is, that is just a weird thing, isn't it? Ah, uh, we'll put in 64. Who cares? Um, that is, that is just an odd phenomenon that like for some reason donuts in an office, people just cut up into like 16ths. I don't understand it. Just eat a donut or don't, Lamau. That's my, <laughs> that's my life advice. As Yoda says, do or do not, there is no 16th of a donut. Until there are just donut crumbs. No. But yes, you're right. All right, let's put our boy in here. Hello. You are a novice butcher. So probably you don't need a chemistry set. But I don't care. Uh, good luck, Mr. Butcher. Your trades are garbage. See you later. Let's refill the sugarcane store. I do feel like a little bit people are patronizing my sugarcane store basically out of charity, but I'm not too proud for that. Why is he a butcher? I don't know why he's... I don't know. It just said... I, he just... It was just luck of the draw. 
Enemies won't spawn without the torch anyway. Oh, okay, okay, so you don't need it. How do you reset villagers in bedrock? I don't know. Level 1 butcher. Why are you a butcher, sir? Oh my god. No, I'm not reading that. No, 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 no. Um, okay, let's read it real quick. Explore. Are you trade? Take care of the villagers. Crafting. Oh no. This is not better, Minecraft. It was better when you didn't have a tutorial. No, they take jobs based on job stations. Oh! I see, so it isn't luck of the draw. Yeah, why are you a butcher? Sir? Yeah, and the job station is brewing. I do not know why this weird guy has decided to be a butcher then. Mine the cooker in the hovel and then replace it. Oh! You think it's this this bad boy? Dried kelp. He might have been linked to the cooker. Oh wait, is the smoker the cooker? Or is there a more different thing than that? There's all this dried kelp in here. Yes, okay, cool. Let's see if he's discovered his life's calling. Can we inspire a change of vocation? It's me, the chemist now. Sir? Do I have to slay him? Or will he... Why? Why have you done this to me? Careful. Easy does it. Perfect. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He's being a weirdo. He's following his dream instead of listening to his spawning dad. No, the cooker is made from gold and soul st Just kidding. <laughs> okay, good. <sighs> I was worried there. I was worried this was going to be a whole a whole process. Oh, so I was going to say earlier today I was looking at the um Hat Films channel on YouTube. So they used to make trailers for Minecraft back in the day. And for some reason just in my suggested videos was the trailer they did for the update where they added pistons to Minecraft. And it was just I don't know. It was such a trip going back and watching like the features that they showed off. They're like, look, TNT doesn't explode when you break it now. And I was like, oh my god, did TNT used to explode when you broke it? That's horrible. Um, just, just a bit of a trip. Going back to the past. He's listening to his dream over our capitalism factory slavery. This is not right. The market is not successfully... The invisible hand of the market is supposed to be tickling his... Uh, <laughs> Let's say his belly into uh, into pursuing a career in brewing. Hmm, apparently spawn eggs spawn with random professions. Wah. Wah. You're supposed to be tickled by the invisible hand of the market. I hate this. Should I move the smoker to be in there with him? Is that a good move? And we'll swap the brewing stand and the smoker? And then we can go there for all of our fine meats. Cookery to feed people is less important than drugs for the 1%. True! I wish I could do a Bernie Sanders impression. Okay, that's my assignment for this week. I'm going to come back next week to, and be able to... No, just kill spawn until you get the right villager. Okay, I also like this idea. Um... I'm gonna for next week I'm gonna work on a Bernie Sanders impression so that we can talk about the one percent and do the impression and hopefully it will be funny and not at all overdone and completely tired. Alright. Let's get slaying. And by slaying I mean let's go to creative mode while we do this. When I word it like that, I'm not sure how I feel about drinking these those potions anymore. Ugh. Game. Mode Uno. Uh, spawn. Villager. I guess that's one way we could do it. 
spawn zombie villagers to counteract the villagers. Hello. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you made a mistake by being a child. Would he have grown up into the right kind of villager? Was that a mistake? Sir? What are you? Onga baby! A Fletcher? I hardly even know her. He would have needed a bed. Okay. Yeah, we can't have that. The baby is good. It means they grow up, right? Okay, if we get another baby, we'll do it right. A leather worker. <laughs> a weaponsmith. Okay. He's kind of cool. He's kind of a badass, but not badass enough. What the hell are you? A librarian. Shush this, you librarian. Alright, do we want to put a bed in there with a baby? <laughs> I see the problem here. Right. He escaped. He made a break for it right away. The librarian's hat is a book. Oh, I didn't notice. Oh, if we get him again, we'll have to take a closer look. Are you a shepherd? Fooled and escaped. Huh. How many villagers are there? Can I spawn a particular type? With like a server command maybe? I don't think they like to swim. They truly are trapped. Okay, so he would be trapped on this island generally. Right? He's not going to leave here. But he might be killed by zombies. Fine. That baby, you get to live. And we'll get you a bed. Uh, we can use a zombie villager, which would work. Oh, to eliminate the villagers? Perfect. Quick, everybody log on the server and get the eggs. <laughs> Make it rain! No, I mean heal a zombie villager. Oh, I haven't ever actually done this before. You use like a golden carrot or something, right? I can't, I don't, I don't know how to do it, but I, I forgot that that is a thing. Um, why am I here? To get you a bed. We've got beds around somewhere, right? Are there still community beds in here? Not here. Yeah, there's one in my box if you need one. Okay, let's see. There's this bed here, but somebody might be spawning here. So since we don't know, let's get a fresh bed. Excuse me. Just, just in case there is one already. We have no beds. Did the, all the beds get used for mining in the nether? I'll go make a bed. That's fine. We could also steal Piotr Jr.'s bed, since he's now a dragon egg. They can take my wool from my ex sheep. Oh, uh, we'll we'll grab we'll grab the old Piotr bed. This is like, did any of you all have? Oh, there is no Piotr bed. Oh, and Wisebird, thank you for the the light snacks. We're getting kind of close to the. Uh, I was looking at it last night. I think we're at like over eighty percent, right? Or maybe just about there. Because I did the. Because I was like, okay, so like if people are putting in like we're within two weeks probably. Since the famine of wool, we have no beds except the elites in the pop times. Ah, uh, just the, the bedded elites. Where's the dragon egg? Good question. We saw it just a second ago. Didn't I see it through the window? Oh. Um. Excuse you. I right-clicked it and it disappeared. Is it secretly in my inventory somewhere? It teleported, don't worry. Well, but it... Oh, does, is there some dragon egg mechanic that I don't know? Is it elsewhere now? In the neighborhood? No, it just teleports. Okay. Oh. So it does. Sneaky egg. But not sneaky enough. Maybe sneaky enough. Okay, can I nudge it? 
Nudge it and begrudge it. No, I can't. I'm just breaking everything for no reason. Got it. Great. Good. Fantastic. Sorry. Sorry. Let me fix. No! Piotr, what the fuck? It's gone! Chat, don't worry. The egg teleports. It's normal behavior, to be sure. Huh. Phew. Egg. Egg. Well, okay. It's, it's in the vicinity. I'm sure it'll turn up. Could you imagine if it was back in here? No such luck. Okay, bed. The bedded gentry. This, this, uh... This little man is going to join the elites. Oh, and I'm supposed to look out from my deck. Okay, so we'll do that too. So let's keep our eyes down low. So we'll save it for looking out from the roof deck. And by it, I mean the sense of wonder that we'll feel when we see what's going on. Uh, 12, right? Undu. And some wood. I'm sure I got wood on my person, but nope, I'm wrong. That is the stone chest. Okay, yeah, I've really been slacking. We are missing everything that we would need. Fine. And some dye. What color what color bed is this gonna be? Uh can't really be a gray bed. That's that's my color. Hopefully didn't teleport in that cave newts blocked up. Oh I had not considered that that was a possibility, but yeah, hopefully hopefully not. Lamau. Uh, let's grab some nice, beautiful flowers to dye this with. Well, I'll give him a yellow bed. Look around my area from the top of your house. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. So here we are in the house. Oh, it's good to be home. I do love my little mushroom painting. I gotta get a mushroom picture to hang over my bed. I think it'd be cute and fun. Okay, to the roof deck. Don't no notes for me about the route that I just took there. All right, so what am I looking for? This looks the same. The grocery store looks the same. Look in your area. I see some more bridges. It looks like there's some more infrastructure. Where be my telescope? Me hearties. Oh look, it's um me Mayathors. Oh, we gotta get a name tag for Mayathors. We'll grab one. Some Bricious. I'm looking in your area. Which I guess would be like down here, right? Look at the trees! Oh! <laughs> Not these trees. Those are real trees. It's been clear cut! Oh my word. Yep, I should have, have been looking for what was there. I should have been looking for what wasn't there. Nice! Good. This is the kind of manufactured scarcity that we need to drive my tree business. Excellent. And and there's all this... I mean, also there's all this area... Yeah, I mean the lack of trees. Checks out. Um, and that means that we've got all this space to build on, too. That's nice. Oh, fantastic. I'm on board. I'm on board. Let me... Check out my money. Behind the tree farm, once a forest, now plains. Oh, let me look behind the tree farm. I was maybe looking in the wrong area. Please. This house is such a farce. Uh, <laughs> oh, let's go out. Let's go out there and look. Hup, hup. Oh, my word. What a beautiful thing to see. Wow, just these rolling planes now. Ah, oh, fantastic. And a pigu. Hello, Mr. Pig. Do you know Smythe? That's probably a yes. I'm going to take that as a yes. Wow. Oh, fantastic. Ah, oh, it's good. It's just cozy to be here. I feel like I know this area so well now. It's just, it's just nice to come back to a familiar place, isn't it? It's, you know, there are little changes week to week, but... Ah, I don't know. I find it, I find it weirdly comforting. In these trying times, I feel like this area could use more torches. That's not a bad idea. I think I've got some coal. I'll make a bunch of torches and plop them down to try to keep the monstrous menace at bay. 
Hez -z 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 -a. We just gotta split these into haystacks. Or netherrack and a fluent and steel. Ooh, just make it a real hellscape. I like that idea, actually. And then the six sugar cane that we have remaining. Let's just take care of those in the way that we do. Perfect. Oh, I should have slept. It's fine. Well, let's just do it. A bit inefficient. This is always how I end up playing Minecraft. When I, when I used to play in college, like, my friend would go out. I, so we would play on a two-person LAN server. And he would, like, go out and, like, do adventures and stuff. And I would just hang around the house or compound or whatever little area we'd civilized for ourselves. And I would just putter around there the whole time. <laughs> Building factories and stuff. Oh, that's a good idea for lighting. Just netherrack with flint and steel. I might work on that. Noise. I do like to make like a brazier with uh, netherrack. It can be fun. And and like, you know, uh, iron bars or something around it. I should have the Minecraft, but I'm conflicted on another attempt at killing a boss in Elden Ring. Honestly, do what you gotta do. Uh, yeah. Elden Ring, yeah, seems good. Seems like a pee good game. Let's make this bed yellow. Listen, it was yellow before. Nothing happened to turn it yellow. This is the color that it was. It's fine. Let's give that little baby boy a yellow bed so he can grow up to be a chemist. Is Elden Ring going to be a New Game Wednesday game? So New Game Wednesday... I want to play, um, if we get Elden Ring, we should just play Elden Ring, right? But you were, you, I, oh shoot, I forgot to, I should have checked what that sign said. That's my bad. Baby, there's your bed. Um, maybe we can do, raid? Baby, at work. We're going to do Conan Chop Chop this week because oh my, that's going to be not a probably very good game, but it's a game that I've been waiting for, anticipating for like um, two years. And I'm very excited for. So we'll check out Conan Chop Chop this week. It's releasing on March 1st. Maybe we can do Elden Ring afterwards. I mean, I think when we play Elden Ring, we're going to end up playing Elden Ring, right? That seems probable. I, I do think the suggestion that that's like a good first Souls-like game to get into is a compelling one. Are they underground? I think they're deep underground, past the bedrock. So just Elden Ring as a main game straight up is probably the way to do it. I was thinking about it, because I know I said earlier that like it was a good idea to do it as a Wednesday game. Maybe we can... So here's... I also want to play Sifu. Man! Well, I wish listed Sifu, so I'll pick up... We'll play Sifu once it goes on sale. Um, the, the Okay, okay. Let me... You know what? I, I So I feel equally about both of these games. Just quick poll. Um, if it was between seeing Hollow Knight and Elden Ring as the next game after uh, Abduction, I guess it would make more sense to do Elden Ring, right? Because that's the one that's a little bit more contemporary. And, like, we can do Hollow Knight any... Like, we'll be a little late to the Elden Ring train. If we do it after Abduction. But I feel like Abduction can't be that long. Elden Ring is both the most accessible with all the different... Pl oh, they tend to spawn in the pub or in my underwater base. <laughs> oh, let's check out the pub. Elden Ring. I've seen Hollow Knight. And <laughs> otherwise where it says, I hate Hollow Knight. Lol. Elden Ring, because we all playing. Let's do it that way, then. I think that's fair. So we'll, when we go to the calendar, it'll say Hollow Knight is the next game after Abduction, but we'll swap it for Elden Ring. That's compelling. And I'll play Elden Ring and just get owned over and over. And then we'll probably do another puzzle game after that, and then we'll maybe do Sifu. Oh my gosh. The other thing I'm thinking of doing with the calendar... Sorry, I should still play the game while I'm talking. I just have no ability to multitask. Um, no conservation. Okay, I've seen this. Um, the other thing that I should do is... Also, what if baby grows up on the wrong side? We'll have to knock down the, the wall and let him back in. That's a good point, though. Yeah, we might. there might be another step for us to take there with the baby. I also missed your message about that earlier. Sorry, I saw it with my eyeballs, but I didn't read it out. Lock the baby in with a window or bars. Elden Ring is long, though, but again, so is Hollow Knight. Yeah, I figured, I mean, that's, that's kind of why it's like, 
if they were short, if one or both of them was short, we could just do one and then the other. But yeah, we'll do Elden Ring. I'm up for it. Um, oh, the other thing I'm thinking of is moving to... So we, we did two weeks between the last time we played Minecraft. I think we might make that a regular thing because Sunday games are like the category of game that I have the most like backlog of things that I want to get through. Where like, where I, or like I have the most ideas for games that I would want to play. You don't have to play the entire game on stream, IMO. Oh, I forgot to actually... Oh, no, we checked the pub. We didn't check the underwater place. Uh, Elden Ring also has a tortoise with a Pope hat. Do we have a sense of, like, how long... I guess I could look at how long to beat. I, I did hear that a lot of reviewers weren't able to finish Elden Ring or get through all of the stuff they wanted to get through in the time. Like with the game jam, it's okay to just check back in. Maybe that's wise. Maybe that's wise. Oh, we did not get enough done with the game jam yesterday. I was just so tired <laughs> and kept getting stuck on stuff. I woke up this morning and I was like, wait a minute, all those things that I didn't know how to do, I should fix it this way and I should fix that this way. And I should like, woke up, a, a night's sleep made such a big difference. Um, we ended that stream a little bit early and probably in retrospect, we should have ended it even earlier than that. I don't know where these, these losers are uh, who are trying to ruin my life. I said I was going to grab a name tag and name Mayathors, right? Let's do that. Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to go... I'm going to take shelter in Giant Spatch's house for one second. Hello, cats. Times of play seem to be all over the place, but long. Like, it's like 60 to 100 hours. and can probably go even higher for those going all stuff. That would make it the long... So, if it was 60 hours, I do like that tortoise with the Pope hat. That is incredibly endearing. Uh, if it was <laughs> 60 to 100 hours, that would make it the longest game that we've played on stream by almost two times. If we got it done in 60 hours. Um, similar to Hollow Knight TVH? Okay. Uh, 